going on, Dirty Laundry family? It's your man online, Bill Money, checking back in with you. Hope everyone tuning in is in good health and spirits as we move into this holiday weekend. Was checking out this video here with your boy Stephen A. Smith, who uh, couldn't resist but to take a moment out of his day to chastise Kyrie Irving for the Nets making the decision to insert him back into the lineup. So Stephen A. Smith goes on a tirade against Kyrie Irving, accusing the New Jersey, uh, excuse me, the Brooklyn Nets of folding to Kyrie's demands. In this situation, Kyrie didn't make any demands. You know, the Nets, they're basically caving into circumstances. Apparently, their roster has taken some hits and they need Kyrie. They've needed him the whole while. Um, but due to the uh, situation, you know, they haven't had him aboard for quite some time now. And Stephen A. Smith, again, is using his platform uh, to deride and bash another black man who's um, done nothing wrong to anyone. You know, has only been a positive influence, you know, in the community. You know, his professional issues aside. You know, however that may make you feel. You know, his business is his business. Um, but off the court, Kyrie Irving has always conducted himself as a gentleman. But yet Stephen A. Smith wants to make an issue. Going so far as to suggest that no one should offer him a long-term contract, anything beyond one year. So, you know, he takes his shots at Kyrie, doesn't mind if he hurts his brand, if he hurts his money earning potential and I just think it's disgraceful um, I'm going to go ahead and play a clip this is a disgraceful decision by the Brooklyn Nets absolutely disgraceful I don't give a damn what anybody says the NBA considers itself a global league right and we are in a global pandemic a global pandemic that is far more serious than any sort of temporary roster crunch the Brooklyn Nets find themselves to be in. So this is cowardice on the part of the Nets as far as I'm concerned. The Nets have the number one seed in the East. See a few players go down. And so he said this is an act of cowardice on the part of the Nets. Just listen to Kyrie Irving's, um, excuse me, Stephen A. Smith's choice of words. He's trying to incite people. You do this now as COVID is ramping back up, as the Omicron variant is spreading like wildfire. I couldn't be more disappointed in the Brooklyn Nets. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. If it was up to me, the NBA would invoke its best interest of the league clause and absolutely mandate that every single player be vaccinated, just like many companies around the world have done. In I was under the impression that the NBA had already mandated that this be done. Including the one that employs me, to be clear. But this isn't even about that. This is about Kyrie Irving specifically. Because Kyrie Irving is the last player to make a concession for. Hell, he's the last player I'd give a long-term contract to at this point. For all of Kyrie's talents, it's insanity to sign this man to anything more than a one-season deal. Because you can't count on him. He's proven it time and time again. Kyrie Irving only looks out for himself. He thinks he's better than everybody else, more enlightened than everybody else. This is the player who goes out of his way almost every single year not to play while still taking every paycheck that he can get his hands on. And now you do this, you give it to him? Come on. Because and if you notice, Stephen A is reading straight off of a script in front of him rather than a teleprompter. It's like they couldn't even wait to load it up into the teleprompter or someone shoved this piece of paper in his face and said, you need to read this now, boy. Because <laughs> your roster depth took a hit? I'm sorry. 
I'm not buying it at all. Allowing Kyrie Irving back is nothing more than a short-term answer that creates an even bigger long-term problem. And that problem is Kyrie and what consensus he'll demand next. You just wait and see. Remember this, ladies and gentlemen. Kyrie Irving's been in the league for 10 years. He's played more than 60 games four times. Keep that in mind. Remember I said that. Just so you know. Stephen A. Smith sounds like he's paying Kyrie Irving out of his pocket. Need to shut up. But yeah, this is him again. You know, Stephen A. Smith is having his run. But his time is going to come to an end. And when it does, me, along with a host of others, will be there to wish him a horrible life. Stephen A. Smith, go sit down somewhere. Sturdy Laundry Media.